they're doing a franchise and they're putting it together. Let's just talk about Lex Luthor, who doesn't have any testosterone. That is not... Never. Kevin Spacey, the best Lex Luthor of all time. Oh, he did a great job. Time. Even I, that, I like Gene Hackman, too. He was just... It, he was too... He wasn't that, that intelligent. He didn't, I mean, he's an intelligent man, Gene, you know, but I'm talking about that character that they portrayed. No, he did good. He did good, even though Superman Returns... Now, remember, all these are what fans are saying. Number 13 is why the DC universe won't work based on fans. Weak character depictions. That means their definition of who they are and what they are. All right. Here's what we're... I'm ripping it up when I'm done. This is making me mad because I love Superman. I want all this to survive. Um, But you're not explaining number 13 that much. I even got confused by that. Are they trying to say that... There's not that much time for them to really to develop the characters. Exactly. Okay. Like, what is it? I mean, we're going into a Justice League movie, and we're throwing in Cyborg. We're throwing in Flash. Do, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's start with the Marvel Universe. Did Iron Man. And they weren't going to go with Avengers or anything like that. It was a joke at the end. He goes, you ever thought about joking the Avengers? The first one. It was just a joke that he put in. And, right. and it just paid off. But they gave him time to develop. He was a playboy. He did all this stuff. Bomb went in his chest. Saw people dying. That guy changed him, was in the cave. Stop yeah, yeah. war. I want to build a machine. I'm out of here. Right. Thor, you started out with him. He's on his... Thought it was going to be a flop. I'm like, how the hell are they going to do this? We got Thor on his land. We see how he gets the thing. He learned a lesson. If he be worthy, he can carry this. He's an I Earth think they're worried of- about them aging too fast because... Um, because Iron Man's kind of aging there right now. I know, but 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 we're going to. But the way Marvel did it, they did it well. No, they did a good job. And then we a got a couple series. We got Ant Man out there, and then we got we got this one. Yeah. And, and it just everything. So is why worked. do you think that's happening? Since they have basically an example. They're rushing. Well. They need to. Uh, let me continue on, and I'll explain to you why it's not. The list gets better. You tell me, Fonse. Number twelve. Good actors are wasted. Do you not agree with me of this? No, there's amazing actors. I mean, we have Oscar winners, nominees on there. Wait to see. Wait to see, right? We don't know if they're wasted or not. Okay, so, assumption. so we got Henry Cavell as Superman, Ben Affleck as Batman, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, Jason Momoa as Aquaman, Ray Fisher as Cyborg, Ezra Miller as The Flash, and those are just the Justice League members among the entire DC universe so far, Okay. And there are three Academy winners in that bunch. Right. So far, okay? But Wonder Woman's having her own movie. That's, that's Batman pr- did. Okay, that's Superman pretty impressive. Did. Listen, the Marvel comic universe doesn't have it that many high praise actors. The only right. problem is these actors have very little opportunity to actually act because they're so smashed into a movie. What am I saying? Let Ben Affleck, before this Batman versus Superman... We were establishing another Batman in three movies. We lost him. We should establish Batman. We established Superman. Established Flash. A Flash established Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. I, I, I because I knew she before. She's the trilogy. Then create something in Batman where instead of a few minutes before a movie, you see a few minutes of a building falling down, and you don't get to really see Ben Affleck act. Have more happen so you see something really bad happen that right. builds into the movie. I know. Very little, very little time. Okay, the next one. These are what the these are what so fans. Let's be honest. That I think that DC and all the producers had little faith in the individual characters. I don't think they did. Besides did that. Batman and Superman, like they needed this Batman for Superman in order for Wonder Woman to okay. have her own series. First off. If you go to the Marvel Comic Universe, I forgot his name. The man is in charge of all of this. Has meetings at the Comic Cons of what they're planned out of doing so far. They build anticipation. They give fans something to talk about, and they build up some some value to it. The pu- oh, I shouldn't talk anymore because it it's going to continue on. Let me continue a little more. Number eleven. This is why fans don't think the DC Universe is going to work on the movies. Too dark and too gritty. Do you agree? And I like variety. Dark Knight Trilogy, without a doubt, one of the DC and WB's most successful ones. Right. Dark and gritty, but Superman's not known for that. Metropolis is known for being clean upscale. But, I, but you love the Man of Steel, and so did I. I did like it. I liked it more based on the Krypton area. I really liked Krypton. Yeah, which was very dark. 
no, no crystals there, right? Mm. So, so I think number eleven, not too much. It's all okay. about good. It's a good, good writing. And number ten, audience. Where Marvel movies, the movie, they move to line up all their films. Like I said, comics and animation under a similar narrative in order to lock down one large audience. DC has always been a bit different. DC's strengths on, as a publisher has always been offering variety. You want fun superhero tales? You read Teen Titans. You want something a little different? You pick up a Vertigo title. More variety is good for comics, but it's a good for movies. Number nine, disorganization. Oh, there we go. Since the release of Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, Suicide Squad, and Suicide sense. Squad, there have been a number of the DC films announced for eventual release. Since these films initially release date announcement, nearly every single one of them has lost a director. Or Flash, three direct Wonder Woman, same thing, right? Yeah, or okay. the release date is moved up. Flash has gone through about three directors at this point, and Batman has been what is it? No, no, but Ben found. Why did he drop out being the director? They don't trust it. They don't. They ben don't, doesn't. They don't trust it. They're scared. They just want to be. Yeah, because look what happened to what's his name, Byron Snyder for Superman Returns. Mm-hmm. I don't hear about him anymore. He, he pulled out. Well, the new guy. He pulled out because he had family problems. Oh, he did. I'm yeah, so sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ben Affleck dropped out as directing and writing the project. Mm-hmm. And the reason why he dropped out, he didn't say much about it. He's really scared because he said, I want to go this way. No, we want to do this. Too many hands in the cookie jar. You yeah. should do this, do this, yeah, do this, do this, 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 this. He's all fine. I'll just start, but I'm not directing it. Okay. Number eight. Now, these are the top 15 things that are said by the fans of why the DC... Did you notice how fun is getting so defensive? Because it's true. Because we were going to go, no, I don't believe this. The DC Universe is going to flop. Number eight, Wonder Woman's marketing. It's pretty bad. I mean, the critics have been saving it a lot. Praising it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's where that's where you're hearing all the buzz and there's other shows. What did you say? Like little, I was going to say little fat liars. <laughs> little, little big liars on the, <laughs> on the Family Channel, which is called something else now. They're talking Wonder Woman. Like, but did you know it's always a woman's show? Mm-hmm. And the majority of people are going to go see Wonder Woman are going to be men. I guarantee you. So, you, so we'll see that on uh, your Facebook, Instagram, we'll see. either all that women stuff. or men. I'm curious about this. Okay, but just when the DC Universe film uh, is doomed, is a female-led film is received so. horror, to receive horrible crew, there's a shimmer of hope, a small light peeking at the edge of darkness in the form of a Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman's going to save the day, as we always say. She's does. gotten amazing critics have given it right. praise so far. Yeah, good job. Number good job. seven. Are you ready for this? Go for it. Why the DC Universe movies will fail. Studio interference. There we go. Why you've you been saying, saying that, that non Studio interference. Leave them alone and let them do what they want. You and pay often them the studio knows nothing about these films. Right? No, no, no. They don't. No. If you, Kevin... Well, you would not even see them Kevin on the floor Smith, with a fan. If you notice, Kevin Smith did a few... He did Ben Affleck's Daredevil, a few other, but he hasn't done anything else. Because mm-hmm. he's pulled out. He was originally supposed to do Superman... They usually use them the, as a consultant, What's right? the one that we're going to make with, uh, what's his name? Richard my Nicholas Cage. Yeah, what was that one called? Superman? I don't know. Return I, of Superman? I want to Super- say Superman Neon Lights. <laughs> so he, they wanted him to direct it. Mm-hmm. And he goes, okay, what do you, you know, he went to the, the producer's house. Yeah. And he said when he got there, it looked like, it looked like uh, <laughs> Wayne Manor. The cage opened up and he had the initials on the door. Wait, goes, Kevin Smith? Yeah, he was telling the whole story about it. Is this Wayne Manor? What's going on? Wait, Kev- this is Kevin Smith? Kevin this Smith, went. Kevin, they wanted him to direct the movie. He's, yeah. And he goes, you know all about comic books, right? And he goes, yes. Yeah, and he goes, and he's thinking his mouth. He said, this is the head producer who produces all these movies. And he goes, um, yes. He goes, I've been reading the Superman thing. I want to make him black. And, and then Kevin Smith said, well, there's nothing wrong with that, sir, but... You're going to upset a lot of people because they like to keep it, you know, regular. And I don't want, or we, white guy with blonde hair. And I want no cape. And I don't want him to fly. And I need a spider in the movie. And he goes, Why do you want a spider? He goes, I had a feeling about a spider. He goes, And he's cussing up a storm. This is Kevin Smith when he's telling people this. He goes, This guy's whacked. He goes, Already in this time, I knew I wasn't going to do the movie. But then she talks for a while and he pulls mm-hmm. out of the thing. Guess what movie? That movie didn't get made. But guess what the next movie this guy produced was? What? Wild Wild West. Oh, my Guess God. Guess what the big villain in the movie was at the end? The spider. The spiders. He wanted spiders. So, again, like I'm trying to say, all the problems are, well, the bigger issue is the studio interference coming in. And just in case of suicide, it's clear that David Ayers had a vision for the film, 
but reshoots and post-production and changes uh, distorted his vision. Wow. And then Marvel's success is large part due to the films being worked on like personal projects for each director and yeah. writer. They do their same thing. Ant-Man, the writer dropped out. Oh, my but God. But they had a new person come in, yeah. and it worked out great. But the, the executives laid off of it and let them be. So interference is a, the big thing. Too many chiefs. Okay. Number six. The movie needs a Kevin Faye. Am I saying his name right? Is it Fiji or Faye? Um, is it Faye? Fiji. Is it Fiji? Fiji. Yeah. Fiji. Uh, Fiji obviously wouldn't leave his position. Is it Fiji or Fiji? No, it's Fiji. Right is it Fiji? F Y and then G H E E. F E I G E. Um, dude, I'm giving you the phonics sound oh, oh, oh. of it. So Fiji. Fiji? <laughs> Not, don't put. We're we'll calling Mr. F from Marvel. Obviously, he's, he's the producer and president of Marvel yeah. Studios. And he's been doing a hell of a job presenting stuff. Graduate from USC. And keeping it organizing. Go Trojan. So they need a person like that. Wow. 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 And this is why uh, Zack Snyder left. He's probably going to go work with him. He knew that nothing's going to work out. Oh, uh, yeah. He just he, he was so upset of he's, he's uh, Batman versus Superman, all his projects. He's just, well, well, is he disappointed because the fans were disappointed with No, him? he's disappointed because it's not his. Most of these guys aren't getting their visions across on the screen, and so they're getting pissed. Yeah. I would be pissed, too. Number five. You sure it's not ego, though? I'm just asking. Being dumb, I don't know. I don't know him, but it could be a thing. Number five. Have him give you a call. Losing directors left and right. Uh, that yeah. can really hurt a movie. Yep. Get it together, DC. Get it together. Jeez. Number four. Mm-hmm. Four, box office highs, but the critics low on it. Like yeah. uh, Superman did great at the box office, but the great. critics were just ripping it apart. Yeah. Number three, this is how it's going to be successful or it's going to fail. It should copy the Marvel comic universe. Oh, she just do the exact... But it's too late. It's way too late. So It's too late. I mean, you don't want them to reboot it. No. That'd well, they be- could, but they lose billions. Oh, my God. I hate I, I it. Just, just I have a really it. bad feeling what, about Justice what League. What series I have a did bad, that? I think Justice League is going to make millions. I mean, billions. Okay, but. so let's just assume... All the critics and what all women in the world are hoping for. Wonder Woman blows it away. Don't you think then they may step back, DC, and the studio executives and say, let's see what's made this so special and change it up a little bit? They have done that before. They just need to get in somewhere there that knows what the hell he's doing. This should be a, a private entity over to the right. And like, you're. Do you hear over- what I'm saying? Oh, I agree with you. No, I agree okay. with you. Um, we're talking about what fans think will destroy or make the DC Universe movies or not. Number two, doesn't take advantage of property rights. And that, that, is, so, that is so true. They let things slip. Things they could take advantage of and they don't use. Uh, when Marvel you have Comics... an example for our listeners. Uh, Justice League. Who do they decide on a villain? Steppenwolf, which is the average moviegoer, even a comics reader... Uh, like Legion of Doom. They're not going to use Legion of Doom? Mm. You know what I mean? You make all these... Sh- I, 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 listen to me. I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I'm going to make all these small movies, these small movies with Flash and Cat- get somebody decent to do, you know, the Green Lantern, Hawkman, so we're sad again when he dies and we don't <laughs> know he's there. And we're joking about it. But podcast. we get all these characters together and each arch villain at the end of the movie, they stop them. And then finally, you have your, your, your Batman versus Superman, right? That's all done and stuff like that. Lex Luthor gets out of jail and goes, has a huge, before we even get. But Lex Luthor doesn't die. No, I know that, but he gets He's out of like jail. He's like Loki in the and, he, and what he says is like, I've got to get more people on my side. I really got. This is the end, the extra credit scene. I need to get my own Legion together. That's the Justice League movie. This is a sound effect that's pretty. Legion of Doom, the movie. And then you can do, like, they have Suicide Squad. You have a Legion of Doom movie. So you're saying they're missing the sides, mm-hmm. dark side, because it's too complicated. Like the Avengers, the, there's this outside force. You're saying they should have done with Legion of Doom versus. They're, if they're going to deal with uh, Apocalypse, that should be the Infinite War. That is uh, not Avengers. They just, it's like, I, I'm, I'm not yeah. trying to be meaning like that. That's no, like a guy no. just like, oh, I'm done. 
You know, I'm, I guess I'm sad 